All right, got Jonah with me here today. Uh, we're going to talk about his whole athletic career, so should be exciting. Let's start off with the fall. You played soccer freshman year. Yeah. Uh, what was that experience like? Um, so I spent the year on JV, mm -hmm. um, just kind of messing around with my friends, playing soccer. Um, I thought I was going to play soccer um, for all of high school, mm -hmm. but um, I, I didn't end up playing um Sophomore year, because I had driver's ed, everything was super busy, and then junior year came around, and I learned that you didn't have to buy your own gear for football, which was like my main concern, just in case I didn't like it. Yeah. Um, so I played football junior year, and that's where that started. So from your soccer experience, was there anything major that you learned, or did you not like it that much, and that's kind of why you decided to go away from it? Um, I, I liked it. It was fun. I wasn't a huge... I, I was never like soccer's never been like my first sport yeah but I just I've always played it so I just kept playing it and um, it was fun I, all my friends played it so mm -hmm. it was a good time um, but I think that's all just kind of all right what about football what I mean you talked about the equipment but there's got to be another appeal there that made you want to try football um I mean, I've always liked contact sports. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more fun, a little bit more fast-paced than like when I used to play baseball and stuff like that. Um, soccer's still fast-paced, but I liked it because of that. Mm -hmm. And I had a couple other friends on that team that I had never really played sports with, wanted to try that out, and I've always liked football. I've, I've always been a football fan, watching it on TV, um, and just thought it would be fun to do if I got the chance. So take us through your junior season. What positions did you play? How did the team do? Guys you learned from that type of stuff. So um, in the preseason, I got there. I didn't really know anybody other than a couple of the Hopkinton kids and because we're a joint team. Mm -hmm. And went to all the lifts. I went to like everything just because I really liked it right away. Yeah. Liked the people. Um, and at one of the installs, which is like the outdoor practices, um, the coach asked if anybody could kick off and punt and stuff, and I figured I could probably do it because of um, soccer in my background. Yeah. Um, so I start. I kind of just didn't know what I was doing, just kind of kicked the ball, and it worked out pretty well. Um, mm -hmm. So I started doing that, started punting uh, about halfway through the season when another guy got injured, um, and that started going really well. So I started meeting with a coach um, that I met at a prospect day. And then that kind of took off from there. But I learned a lot from the team because football is like, it's really a brotherhood sport. And it takes, in my opinion, a lot more commitment than um, a lot of other sports because it's so um, physically draining. Yeah. And it's just every day. It's long practices, hot practices. You're wearing all this gear. Um, so it takes a lot. And I really liked it because of the relationships it forms and the trust that you have to have on your teammates and just every little bit. How did the Red Hawks do that season? That season we were two and six. We missed one game. Um, and it was, there was a lot of games that we should have won and could have won, but just little things here and there slipped up and um, we didn't come out with the wins, but I had a lot of fun that season. Definitely enough fun to come back for senior year. Um, and I just thought it was a good time, even though we weren't great. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a huge part of sports, too. I mean, you want to win, but it's also great to have fun and, you know, exactly. have bond with your teammates. Uh, Coaching-wise, can you talk a little bit about the coaches who influenced you and helped you improve throughout the journey? Yeah. So that that year, well, both my uh, years playing football, Coach Wood was the head coach. He's a great guy. I really like him. Um, he, has, he has a perfect balance of, like, having fun at practice, but also the intensity that I want from a coach. Yeah. Um, I definitely value a coach that's hard on you, knows what you can um, handle, knows what you're capable of, and I think that's a really important thing, and he does that really well. Um, and the, all the assistant coaches are great, really liked all of mm -hmm. them. Um, yeah, I think, I think they do it really well, um, but it's just tough for us because of a joint team, two small schools, um, trying to get by in a big, fairly big um, league. What lessons did you learn there, both football-wise and life lessons? Um, well, I mean, life lessons, it's a lot of responsibility to be at your position on a team. Yeah. because at, So I played tight end, kicker, and punter. At tight end, I'm going to have to run block some plays 
and if the run if the running back's coming my way, I got to make the block, otherwise he's going to get tackled. Um, so they're trusting me to make that block, and it's a lot of responsibility, no matter where you are on the field. Like if one person messes up, it could blow up the whole play. So mm -hmm. I really value the dependence on each other and people depending on you, um, and that type of thing. It kind of goes with football and life. Yeah. I think that's cool. I think it's pretty cool about like the different life lessons that you can learn from sports and football's got some unique ones for sure. Uh, let's move on to your senior season and talk about that. Okay, so senior season, um, it was a bit of a rough preseason for us. There wasn't a whole lot of commitment. Um, it kind of really got to me. It started pissing me off. Um, and we ended up halfway through the summer, our coach just canceled the rest of summer practices because not enough people were showing up to make it worth it and it was I think it was definitely um, detrimental to our first couple games of the season because we just started three steps back from everybody else mm -hmm. and um, so that was kind of hard for me because like if when I commit to something I'm all the way in and I just wish everybody else was that way um, but I think we definitely salvaged a good season had a ton of fun we had a couple of new coaches that came in. Um, they made things really fun. Learned a lot, switched around a couple positions. I played um, played a little bit of DN that year towards the start of the season. Um, yeah. Had a lot of fun with that. Um, yeah, I just think it was it was a really good time. We were two and seven that season, um, but I think it was. I just had a great time. It was a good good experience for high school for sure. Yeah, let's uh, move on to some of the other sports you played, and then we'll circle it back to football. For sure. So uh, can you tell us, uh, just you know, uh, what's the first sport that comes to mind that you also played that you'd like to discuss? Um, well, I've always been a skier all my life. Um, in middle school was the first chance I had to ski for a team um, for my school, which was Nordic. Did that for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't continue it in high school, um, but I did Alpine in high school for my first two years, which was really fun. Um, it's a great way to just kind of get a day off from school every week to go yeah. skiing for the day. Have a couple practices. It was super laid back, super fun. Um, had a bunch of friends on that team. It's a good way to pass the winter because sometimes it can be a drag. Yeah, for sure. But, um, yeah, I think Alpine was a good experience as well. Um, and then I just started working in the winters once I had my license after that. Yeah. All right. Um, any other sports that you want to talk about before we go back to football? Um, uh, this past year, senior year, I played lacrosse, um, for the first year since eighth grade, um, had so much fun with that. That's probably the most fun I've ever had in a high school sport. Mm -hmm. Really, really great team, really successful team. We ended up winning state after, uh, being seated fifth, um, an incredible playoff run. I had so much fun. I didn't play a whole lot in the playoffs, but yeah. it was incredible to watch and see all my brothers on that field come out um, successful with it and work together to really um, grind through some super important, super hard games. Yeah. And yeah. it was unbelievable. You guys had a lot of tough challenges there, like where, you know, you weren't always the favorite to win a game, but you guys sure. persevered through. I know that, you know, there was like a lot of other guys who had more experience on that team, but did you learn anything from them or was it kind of reaffirming stuff you already knew? Um. Just kind of reaffirming a lot of the same stuff I knew. Um, just learned how to be dependent on other people. They need to, like, I need to be somewhere, they need to be somewhere if I have the ball versus they have the ball. Um, and it's just kind of another way that you can really depend on people and other people depend on you. Like, if we're running a play, everybody needs to know what they're doing. Otherwise, yeah. it doesn't really work, that type of thing. So, I think I really like the responsibility part of sports and being able to trust the other people on your team. Yeah, absolutely. What's uh, some of the stuff that's unique to lacrosse that, you know, there might be similarities in football, but is a little bit different? Do you have anything that comes to mind? Um, I mean, they're definitely contact sports. They both take a lot of, like, tolerance to some pain, yeah. um, being able to play through that, and um, just kind of, I think definitely it's two sports where, like, if you're running a play, especially, you got to know what you're doing. Um, and if you do it right, you can be very successful and it becomes really fun. So it's kind of similar in that if you study your plays, if you do them at practice really well, practice them the right way, 
um, you're going to be super successful and have a lot of fun with it. Yeah. I thought, uh, you know, it was pretty cool to see you play in lacrosse and see like all the yeah. guys together and senior yeah, year totally and uh, winning the state championship. That was awesome. Looking back on it all with your whole high school sports career now behind you, if you could go back and start again, would you do it any differently? What do you think you did right? What do you think uh, you would like to do better? And what's your advice for other people out there listening? Um, well, I think I would definitely play lacrosse all four years. I was when well, we lost our uh, our freshman spring because of COVID. I was going to play that year, um, and I definitely would have played all the years that I could, and probably would have started football earlier, um, because I really liked that, and I think it taught me a lot of important things. So definitely would have started those two earlier, um, and I think my advice for anybody else would be. I don't know, just try new things because I played a lot of sports, played a couple of sports like outside of school, um, try new things, figure out what you like, hang out with new people um, because I met a couple of really good friends from another school that I probably never would have even seen yeah. if I didn't play football. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Now let's start talking a little bit about college sports. When did you decide that you were interested in playing college football? Um, I think after, like, midway through junior year, um, probably was when I started to realize, like, that I really, um, liked football and wish I started it earlier and wanted to play more. So, um, I started going to camps and prospect days, junior, or summer going into senior year, and, um, those went really well. Um, I started to just get, like, really good under pressure, which is kind of what I liked with, like, kicking and punting. Um, and I got, I just did pretty well at a couple of, um, prospect days and it kind of led me down a road. Like I met my, uh, training coach up at UNE when I was up there and started working with him and that type of thing. And I think it was, I think it was then when I realized like I could really see myself doing it because of like the campus tours and like meeting teams and like seeing how they, um, just kind they, of operate yeah like how they uh like balance life with sports in college and like occupying their time and stuff like that yeah so can you talk a little bit about like uh recruiting and where you're going and why you chose that yeah so um recruiting it's all for football it's all through twitter and huddle which is um like the app that we use for like film and stuff so you can post your highlights on there and then you bring it all to Twitter where all the coaches are and they see it, you get publicity through there. Um, and for me, I, I gained publicity when I started working with my training coach because he's got, he's a consultant for a bunch of different schools, um, in new England, he helps work with them. So like I would post something, he would repost it. Um, and then, um, a lot of coaches would see from there. I would start reaching out on my own with emails to head coaches, texts to like the recruiting coach from my recruiting area, um, and that type of thing. And it was it was definitely stressful because um, I kind of got to a point where after senior year, I was pretty beat up. I tore both my shoulders, mm. um, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to play football anymore. And then I kind of I started to look into St. Lawrence more. Um, this was probably, it was definitely after the season, uh, my senior season, and I started to look into them more. It was basically the only school that I was going to stay near home for. Everything else, I just wanted to go out west and, like, maybe not play football, yeah. but go to a bigger school. Um, and I kind of, I started to really fall in love with St. Lawrence, and I started reaching out to the coach, and we talked a lot. And then I met him at a showcase in, like, February maybe February or March mm -hmm. and it was like it was like mostly a position player um showcase and the specialists only got like one punt during water breaks to show what they had otherwise it was kind of just like a practice for me with my coach and I took that one punt and I kind of ran with it and it worked really well and I punt I ended up having like probably my best punt all day right in front of the coach and it kind of sealed the deal for me um with him and it kind of it gave me that in that I needed for him to see me play um and then we just kind of continued to talk and then the admissions process was brutal I waited forever even though I um 
applied early decision and it was just kind of a brutal experience but it, when it finally all came together it was super relieving nice so what's your advice for anybody else who's looking to go through that process um definitely explore all your options because you never know where you're going to end up you can do well anywhere you go and um just work really hard always be respectful with the coaches always answer everybody because you don't know if they're gonna leave that school and go somewhere else you don't want to seem like you're too good for a school that reaches out to you and you don't reach out back that type of thing so yeah and then um what are you going to be studying there i'm majoring in business but it's on like a pre-law track because there's no uh pre-law major at st lawrence so right. hoping to hoping to go to law school after what do you see yourself doing as a career? Could you see yourself doing something with law or coaching or what? Uh, definitely some type of lawyer. I'm not quite sure yet. Hopefully I'll figure that out in the next couple of years. Maybe it'll completely change. I've got a lot of time. I can't declare my major until um, fall of sophomore year. So I got a lot of time to explore things. For sure. But I think it'd be really cool to be a lawyer because yeah. I like arguing. So. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course.